Welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather Corinne and today we're going to be crocheting this adorable reindeer cozy or coffee sleeve. This video is designed as a visual tool to go along with the written pattern which can be found on my blog and in my Etsy shop. I'll link both of those down below in the description box for you. I'll also list all of the stitches and materials we'll be using with links to those as well down below in the description box. We're going to be using worsted weight number four yarn for this project, a four millimeter or size G crochet hook a tapestry needle, stitch markers, and a pair of scissors. We'll begin by working on the cozy base of the sleeve, which is going to be a large rectangle. So I'm gonna place a slip knot on my hook with our brown yarn starting off. And then we're going to chain 35 chain stitches to fit around our mug. And if you want to adjust this pattern, you can. You just want to do the amount of chain stitches that fits around your mug plus one chain stitch. So I'm crocheting 35 chain stitches with the brown yarn. So now we have our 35 chain stitches. We're going to begin by single crocheting in each stitch across. So that's going to be a total of 34 stitches for row one. So I'm just putting a single crochet in each stitch across until we get to the end of the row. So here we are coming up on the end of this row. We're going to chain one at the end of every row and turn the work around. So now we're just going to continue to single crochet in each stitch across until we get to the end of row seven. So I'll cut you back at the end of row seven for our color change. So at the end of row seven, I have one stitch left to complete this row. We're going to transition over to our red yarn. So we're gonna insert the hook like we're doing a normal single crochet, pull up a loop. So we have two loops on the hook. And instead of pulling through with brown, we're gonna pull through with the new color red. I'm gonna pull tight on these loose ends on the back and then the red will become our working yarn. So we're gonna chain one and turn the work around. Rows eight through 14 are going to be single crochet in each stitch across, just like one through seven, except that now it's going to be with the red yarn. So I'm going to continue single crocheting until I've reached the end of row 14, but I am going to go ahead and snip off the brown yarn with a long tail. I'm just going to double knot it to the beginning tail of the red to prevent it from coming unraveled and just keep everything nice and secure. All right, so now I'm gonna continue with that single crochet and I will catch you back at the end of row 14 for tying off with the red yarn. Here we are finishing up row 14. I've got a couple stitches left to complete. Chain 
chain one at the end and then tie off with a long red tail. This is our completed base of our coffee cozy. So now we're going to create some cute little antlers and a nose. Sometimes it can be hard to see when using really dark yarn. So I'm going to show you how to create this antler by using a lighter color. We'll place this slip knot on our hook and we're gonna chain seven chain stitches. Three, four, five, six, and seven. So we're going to slip stitch in the first three, three chain stitches. So we'll begin in the second stitch from our hook. So we're gonna slip stitch one, two, and three. So now there's three stitches left and we've completed three stitches. We're gonna chain three more. One, two, three. And then we're gonna slip stitch in these two chain stitches that we just created. Slip stitch one and slip stitch two so now we're going to continue back on that base chain and slip stitch in the last three stitches that we have remaining so you're going to insert the hook slip stitch and that pulls that second antler tighter slip stitch number two and slip stitch number three. Chain one and tie off with a long enough tail to attach it to the project. But that was just to show you with this color of yarn how to create the little antler. So now I'm just gonna pull this back out and show you with the dark brown. On to creating the antlers with the dark brown yarn. I'm just going to show you one more time because this is the most challenging part of the project in my opinion. So we're going to place a slip knot on the hook and chain seven chain stitches. So now we've got six working stitches plus the seventh for the turn. So we're going to slip stitch in the first three. One. Two. And three. Then chain three more. Slip stitch in those two stitches. And then continue in the last three stitches of the base chain. One, two, and three with slip stitches. chain one and tie off with a long enough tail to stitch the antler onto the cozy. So now I'm going to make another brown antler. And to make them even, I'm gonna flip one of them around backwards, if that makes sense. See, they're both going the same direction. So I'm just gonna turn this right one around so that they match on either side. And you can't really tell that one of them is backwards. So we're gonna stitch them on to the center using 
a tapestry needle. And I'm going to have about five stitches in between them. But you can decide how far apart or close together you'd like them to be. So we're just going to thread the long tail onto a tapestry needle and begin stitching it onto the cozy. If you're enjoying this tutorial, please take a moment and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Your support allows me to continue creating this free content, so I really appreciate it so much. We want the antlers to begin right at the center of the color change, so I'm going to begin stitching it as if it's coming out of the brown yarn and directly into the red yarn. For that second shorter tail, I'm just going to thread it through the tapestry needle and then also insert it into that row where the red and the lighter brown meet. Pull it through onto the back side. And then I'm just going to tie both of the tails together with a double or triple knot and trim off any of the excess yarn. Okay, and all we have to do is attach the second antler, and I'm going to make sure that it is turned around backwards so that they look even. I'm going to count five stitches from the first one, and that's where the beginning of the bottom of that antler is going to be attached. So now we have both of the antlers attached. We're going to create a nose and attach that to the cozy. So we're going to pull out some of this red yarn, the same color red that we used on the rest of it, and create a magic circle. If magic circles give you anxiety, you could always use a large button or some felt to create a nose so that you don't have to actually crochet the nose. So in our magic circle, we're going to single crochet six. Now that we've got six single crochet, we're going to pull this loose and tight to create a circle. And for round two, we're going to increase in each stitch around. So to single crochet increase, we'll just place two stitches into the same stitch. So here's the first and then the second one in that same stitch. And I'm going to use a stitch marker in the very first one to keep my place. I really have to do this when I'm making circles so I don't get lost. And so we're going to continue increasing all the way around for a total of 12 stitches for round two. All right, so now we're going to pop out that stitch marker for round three. 
in round three, we're going to single crochet in each stitch around. We'll put that stitch marker back in the first one and continue single crocheting in each stitch for a total of 12 stitches for round three. Round four is our last round. We're going to do a little bit of decreasing just to round off the nose. So we're going to decrease in the first, which means pull up a loop through one stitch, pull up a loop through the second stitch, and then pull through all three. Put the stitch marker back in, and then single crochet in the next stitch. So we're going to repeat that to the end. So we're going to decrease. single crochet, decrease, single crochet, and decrease, single crochet for a total of eight stitches for round four. To finish off our nose, we're going to pop out this stitch marker and slip stitch into the first stitch of what would be the next round and tie off with a long tail to attach it to the project. Now I'm going to use the shorter tail from the beginning to make sure that the magic circle is pulled tight and then I'm going to stuff that into the nose. You could also use scrap yarn or polyfill stuffing if you'd like to stuff your nose as well and you didn't have a long tail from the beginning. Now we're going to use the long tail and a tapestry needle to attach the nose to the cozy. And so all I'm gonna do for that is run the needle through the outer edges of round four that we just completed through the back of the brown cozy. So it just needs to be in the center of the antlers. And I'll start stitching away. Once you're happy with the nose being secure and not pulling off in the back, we're going to tie off by creating a little knot on the back side and then um, trimming or weaving in any of the excess yarn. All right, so now all we have to do is seam up the edges of the cozy. So to do that, we're going to use the tapestry needle and we're gonna fold the right side on the inside, so the nose on the inside, and then use the long tails to whip stitch the seam closed.
So now all we need to do is turn it right side out and that seam is looking pretty good. This completes our reindeer cozy. Thank you so much for crocheting with me today. I had such a great time. I love how this cozy turned out. I also made another one where I added an additional row um, of red and brown. So you can see how the one on the right is a little bit larger than the one on the left. Happy crocheting and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon with a new fun project. Thanks for watching.